All right, it's kind of put together, and I say kind of because it needs to be pulled into place with clamps and, you know, I've got bows and twists that I'm dealing with right now. But I'm happy with the way things look so far. The, uh, the fits are nice. I only ended up with a little blowout right on that corner. Believe it or not, let me see if I can get that in there. There it is. That happened on the first pass. And I thought I had the piece, I thought I found it, but it's gone. So, that's life in the big leagues. We'll deal with that later. All right, I got this temporarily uh, dry fitted and I took my pencil and made marks on both sides of the middle shelf and then on the bottom uh, shelf I made marks as well and those are going to be my cut lines. Now I have to take that off of the front. I mean I have to use the front as a reference edge. Um, not too really thrilled about that, but that's really the only way I can do it. Well, there's a casualty that just happened. Taking it apart, my top shelf hit the floor and bit that corner. Messed it up pretty good, so I'm going to have to deal with that. The good news is it's on the corner facing the wall, so it will be out of sight that way, but I'll patch it up and try and make it look decent. Okay, now's the time to check for clearance. I got uh, flush to the touch out front, and then I'm just taking this little block of mine and running along the the, the uh, dado here, or rabbit, I should say, and I and it slides by nice and easy. Maybe just a fraction of, of, of light or a gap there, but that's, that's all right. I want this to be able to slide up uh, when I put this on the wall. So that's good. Took this piece of scrap half inch, brought it in here, and I want the other part of the French cleat to be covered by this mid shelf as well. So I'm figuring that my long point of the miter is going to be right there. So I can get a measurement and uh, figure out my, my length of my back. This is how the back or, or the um, what's going to be my back, came off of the wall. And these holes line up with the, with the studs in the wall. So, taking into account the rabbit I have on my uh, side pieces there, this is the thickness of the part that's left over. The male part, I'll call it. The female part is the part that this is going to set into. If I rip that much off this side that puts this right back into the same relation it was in before right up against that window so it, it also eliminates all these it eliminates the uh, all the dowels I have in, the, in those holes there so it gives me a it'll give me a nice fresh edge then from there I can turn it around and and find my width which is the same uh, as the uh, top, bottom, and the mid shelf. So that that'll work out good. I'm I'm going to keep it in the same orientation it was before. This being the top, and uh, this being the left side. I got my top ready to go here. I've got my angle. I marked it, and then I have to flip it over so the inside is down. And uh, it's just a good idea to make sure you get oriented the right way. Now I've got 
20 pounds of weight here, 20 out there, because this thing's got a little uh, waffle to it. So that'll help me keep it flat down on the table while I make this cut. I can push here and then I can, I can keep it flat once I get past a certain point. Well, here we go. So I left just a little bit there so I can make a cleanup pass. And that should be enough to remove all this. I won't have to worry about that the, the off cut anymore. Actually, I'm just going to put this weight right here. And now I can push it through with a little more speed or I shouldn't say speed, but consistency. Still have no burn marks, but it's it flushed it right up. I'm happy with that. Check my mark here. Right, I've got a full sheet of quarter inch bolted birch. It's a six millimeter actually, uh, which uh, when translated to uh, SAE is uh, just under a quarter. So I, I took my quarter inch uh, setup bar along with an eighth inch for clearance. Uh, this is where the, the, this line here represents where the shelf uh, fits into the side of the case and then I brought my square up uh, to that line like so quarter inch for the for the ply eighth inch for uh, clear or you know extra space I guess so that gives me the location of the first divider and I just kept continuing on like that until I got to uh, this point right here. Okay, so this line represents center of my uh, bottom and my mid shelf. And they go together like this, this being the front of the case here. So it's, it came out very close to center. So I decided I'll put in a half inch divider here to divide these two spaces. And then uh, over here I'll have two drawers for uh, small parts or whatever. So, Alright, a couple of things on this little adventure. My first cut, I don't know if you can see that X right there, that's the waist side. I'm on the wrong side of it. So I'm going to just leave it alone. This is going to be a narrow slot and these will all be equally spaced. Uh, this will be a wider one. Uh, that's just the way it is. Alright, this is always the fun part if you've done it correctly. Matching grooves. And then hopefully they're running both perpendicular to the back. But I won't be able to find that out until I make my partitions and I've got to clean up these edges a little bit 